Okay, so we have the little um, uh, screen with the Pi Zero W attached on the back. We have the Pi over here um, with an IDE connector on it to this horrible looking rat's nest going to the um, FPC connector to this cheap screen. And tucked under here we've got an audio amplifier and a filter on the end of it so we can see the other end. Um, no we can't, we need some better light. But uh, yeah, let's turn it on and see what it does. Right, so I don't have any controls hooked up. I'm going to use an Arduino eventually, but connected to this um, on-the-go connector, there's a little hub with a keyboard and a game controller in it. Let's push that. We're still going. What's actually holding it up is the uh, this particular USB gamepad. It puts about a 15 second delay on the boot if it's plugged in, but we're not using that in the final build, so that's all good. And See if I can get a really good, really close look at the screen here. Come on, camera, focus away. It's pretty good. So if, in fact, if we pop down to the command prompt, it should be showing up. Yeah, it's a very nice little screen. Especially considering they're about $7 from China. So let's oh I'll try a Game Boy game. Anything will do. Oh, Alpha Chicken, that's always good. Obviously no sound because the speaker's unhooked up. Wow, I'm so good at this game. No, forget that. Hang on. Something with some colour. Yeah, well, that's a colourful game. There's a light right behind me. Hang on, let's try and get the angle right here. No, I'm not having a lot of fun with that light. Hang on, hang on. Let's crop that there. No, definitely not having any fun with that light. That light hates me. Okay, let me try and completely fill the screen there, so we can really see what it actually looks like. Mm, yeah, that's alright. That'll do. That'll do until we, we catch up. 